Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, I've been doing a little bit of playing around with Lucius on Kiazma. Now, the reason I didn't really do too much on Lucius beforehand is because I also think with this guy that ha like a, like having a decent um, collection is actually really important for the stats it gives considering like like this one's got two uh mythic defense but if you had four mythic defense i think you get so much stats out of that that is very impactful so using like a trial version i wasn't thinking i was going to get like the the full lucius experience so before i go ahead and show you this solo run that we did with him which is just for shits and gigs i don't want to overcope this guy and make everyone think he's worth summoning i would hold out like if you're free to play if you love lucius because he looks pretty sick big paladin dude Go ahead, summon for him. That's cool. But if you're like, is he going to be meta? I don't know. I've been watching Cursed Realm. He's been in the top ranks in Cursed Realm, like uh, in, in one of the teams. Uh, I haven't seen him anywhere else. It's too early to see results for Treasure Scramble and stuff like that. So I'm not too sure. So I was playing with him in campaign. And... Before we get into like exactly what I've done here, uh, you can see the investment we got. We got tier four, we got the Singtron 40, uh, we've got the collection, we got 80 engraving, and we've got the nine furniture. Now, the thing about this guy and why I'm so tentative on like saying he's good is because he's very selfish in like I feel like his thing with the damage, his damage is good, but you have to have his awakening passive. And as we get more awakening units in, a lot of them have supportive type awakening abilities that, that are really nice. And he basically says, no, 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 no. I'm not playing with you if you don't let me take my awakening passive. Now, besides that, he does have shields. He has the double cheek death. Like, I think he's a really solid character. And I'm going to show you some stuff, but I just don't want to overhype him because I still don't think he's going to be like the top tier. I think he might be like in the top, maybe like fifth, sixth, maybe fourth to seventh range of Awakened Heroes would be my rough, like if I had to like throw a dart and guess where he'd fall. But I don't think he's going to be top, but I could be proved wrong and he could be crazy. But I just want to show you some of the shit we're doing here because it is crazy. So this is uh, stage 60-44. Basically, I've got Ice Crown. Ice Crown is super important for this. Survival at the start, very important, and the freezing, very important. So Ice Crown really makes this. And the other thing to consider is on Kiasma here, I don't know if we're at a great deficit where we are on Kiasma. I don't really pay attention too hard to it, so we might be at a bit of a lower deficit as well. But that's all the disclaimers out of the way. Let's take a look at the run, and then we'll have a play with some other things. So as you can see here, we run away from the Athalia, which is perfect. We get our first shield up, and now we're cooking. We got the freezers rolling, we get the shield up again, happy days we go ahead we're gonna pop the shield again happy days we get max healed because we doubled up the shields happy days and away we go and then we just like clap everything i was pretty impressed with this i thought that was good ignoring anything else the damage capacity that he has is really nice so here you go here, here's a realistic look at our deficits uh which is like 204 billion versus 1.13 trillion and we're at about 300 level deficit that's an idea let's run this team just so you guys can see the kind of things we can do with this sort of team just so you guys can get a feel for it but if you're looking at this wait wait till we get an alt out you can see the damage that we're dealing with scarlet now scarlet's not like the best damage dealer at the moment but like lucius's damage was pretty high and was happening pretty quick uh obviously different fight and stuff like that but it's just something to know. Like, I think it was pretty decent. So let's back out. Let's see if we can find something else that we can do some crazy shit with Lucius. So if we go here. I think this was the fight. All right. So that one, like, I couldn't do it in any other position. Any other position, he would get hit by the Athalia. So I had to put him up the top. That's why he was there. Uh, but yeah, let, let's swap this into another team. Uh, what's this one? Kaz, Nomura. Like, maybe we have a chance on this one as well. Uh, the Lyca kind of... Mm, the Charm. But if we get the shield up, we'll be fine. Uh, let's try it. Let's try. But yeah, Ice Crown maxed out, obviously, because Kiasma were in like max out range. The Ice Crown is huge. But like, look at the damage that he's dealing. Like, he's dealing good damage. Unfortunately, we got tapped there. I honestly think with retries, we get this one. So let's go ahead and try again. I mean, it's quite impressive. Once again, maybe maybe at a bigger deficit maybe on an earlier account without the investment into things like the ice crown where you don't have it max leveled and stuff it's not going to work out the same 
but like even against healers, like he is just pumping out so much ridiculous damage against that that it, it's like, like I, I mean, wait, let, let's. Oh, there's no one. There's no one else on the map. Like it's just. I I feel like it's good. I don't know. I'm feel, unfortunately, there's no one on the map that I can compare to, but we can look at formations and get an idea for like best deficits. Uh, this guy's level is okay. So eight nineteen. So we're to, okay. So yeah, we're not at a crazy deficit compared to like the peak pushes over here. Um, let's let's have a look formations. One four five, one six six. Like, let's talk, take a look at like say say once we get down here because these are all like the I think it goes in order of best clears. So once we get down to someone like this, what level are you at? You're still at eight twenty seven. Okay, so people are pushing a much bigger deficit than us. So keep that in mind. Definitely bear that in mind. Like this is eight ninety, the final one on the list. Eight ninety, and we're at what are we? Wait, let's let's actually check this stage. I can check this stage, can't I? Okay, let's let's take the check the bottom on the list. Uh, yeah, what's that? Oh, that's nine ninety. Okay, that's nine ninety. Uh, what are, what are we at? What level are we? We're at ten ten. So we're we're only twenty levels above that. Like, I don't know. You you guys let me know. Once again, I I don't pay attention too closely on Kiasma how we are for like exact deficits and stuff, but I feel like nonetheless. Even if we're not the largest deficit, I feel like it's not a bad effort by this guy. Now, once again, we we are using we are using Ice Crown, which is super OP with him. Uh, massive shout out for Sarah for giving me that idea with using that. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, two people I got to shout out because I've asked them and uh, like I was trying to get some concrete feelings around it. So massive shout out to Sero and Raku Day. Uh, I asked them both. Both gave me some really good insights uh, into their thoughts with him to do with collections and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I'm still undecided. Like I said, I'm undecided, but I mean, his performance here is getting me like, it's, it's fun anyway. It's fun, okay? Like I said, I want to put out all the disclaimers because I don't want to get flamed for this, but I am finding the guy fun. Uh, I think we die tomorrow in this one. Let's see. Oh, but we do have the cheat death. I forgot about the cheat death. Let's see, let's see. Um. Surely, surely we do I was going to say, surely we don't solo three of the damn stages, but I honestly think we'll get this one. I honestly think we get it. Man, Walker OP though. Walker OP, be careful, be careful. Can we get the shield? Can we get the shield? Yes. Can we get the next one, please? We need the next one. Oh, we're losing energy. Okay, we we lose too much energy there. Let's let's just try like this for the shits and gigs. You know, I'm probably gonna come back. So I'm probably gonna try this a ton of times to see if we can get it. Okay, that positioning didn't work. So this may be our best positioning, because uh, this way we get hit early by the Morrow, and we do get that shield up early before the Grizzle steals, which means we get all that extra damage. I feel like if maybe I manualist and delay that... Oh, no, we got this. Uh, no, we're not... It, he's going to outheal us. He's going to outheal and shield us because of the skeletons. Dude. Okay, so we're going we're to lose... We're going to lose to Grizzle based on skeleton healing. But, I mean, it's still pretty decent. It's still a pretty decent effort. I, like, I'm pretty happy with that effort. Okay, two clears, one we get out cheesed. Okay, that's fair. All right, let's try another one. Let's try another one. Where are we at? Let's go this one. Confirm. Uh, where are we? Uh, no, this one's... No, no. This, this stage, we got no chance. This stage is no chance at a solo. Uh, I feel like there'll be somewhere where we can come close. Uh, what about there? Because do we run away from the Athalia and not get hit? Yeah, we go. Resisted. Okay, alt. Good. Uh, not looking good. Yeah, we can't we, we can't do that one. Like maybe if we had like one partner with us. Uh like you know what? You know what we're gonna try? Like what what if we had something like this? What if we had something like this? Just to get those those bonuses. That those dude. Oh, one tapped. Absolutely wait, 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 wait. We, we can do that. Uh let's do uh boo shit. Let's try this. Bit of fun, you know, guys. Bit of fun. I think the problem with that is that the others use the absorption from our ice crown, and that kind of screws us over. 
Look, we're getting topped off here. Dude, Lu Lucius, <laughs> the Lu Lu Lucius cheese is a thing, guys. Let me know if you're at a higher deficit let, let, and you, you, you're you well and you've built him. Let me know if this stuff works. I am super curious. I'm super curious about this. All right, so there's three we managed to do it on. Let's begin. Uh, let's do this. Confirm. All right, I don't really want to be in front of her. Let's Let's go back here. Let's try that. I mean, ice, ice crown pops super quick, but the problem is Lucius misses out on the protection by the ice crown uh, because it's popping so early. So yeah, this, this one we might not be able to. But but having said that, like if we did something like this and we slapped like a uh, a brute a normal Brutus in here, there he is. Let's see how something like that goes. Yeah, no, nah, we're we're not gonna get that one. Hey, hey. I feel like we did pretty good on the other ones, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I mean, that's early testing with Lucius. Uh, I feel like the other thing I feel like is we do have the uh, the Damon collection. Maybe the uh, Orthros one would be better to get the time stop, help him get his energy. But I mean, once again, I, I've said this a million times because I don't want to mislead people. I don't. I, I wouldn't go rushing into Lucius. Think he's OP based on this. This was just a bit of fun. We're not at the biggest deficit, so keep that in mind. But you guys, let me know your testing if you did build him. I'm super curious. I'll update you guys on my thoughts. But that is the solo Lucius in action. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.